Hello and welcome to the pound. It is Sunday afternoon and it is IHL 2 playoff action. It is the Bristol Pitbulls 2s against the Basingstoke Buffalo. I am Lewis Hatton talking through the action this afternoon and oh, it's a, a very finely poised game between these two teams who are evenly matched in the regular season winning a game each and the Buffalo took a 3-2 win in Basingstoke yesterday afternoon. The Pitbulls looking to uh, to get, take advantage of home ice, the officials are out on the ice, the Buffalo are on the ice and without further ado we'll go through the two teams, the, the Buffalo turn out with a, a very full bench, uh, Dan Weller Evans gets the start, a, a, a netminder with lots of National League experience backed up by Morgan Parsons, both with very good numbers this season, uh, both have seen a, a fairly even split of ice time, um, plenty of defensemen, Josh Bundy, Ollie Reeves, Sam Compton the captain, Josh Richards, Freddie Stevens, Adam Jones, Lewis Nicholson, or Louis, Mackenzie Parsons and Tom Banner. Uh, forwards, Harry Harkup, another player who's played National League. He's played National League this year with the Bees, 40 games. Sam Hemmingsmeyer, Hallam Wilson, the player coach, 75 points in 22 games before yesterday. Cam Buckle, the former Pitbull, Yanni Vertinen, Paul Petz, Christian Nicholson, Harry Tempest, Alex Sanford and Xander Robinson. Uh, for the Pitbulls, it's listed there, but you can scratch Ollie Sean. He is not playing this evening. The Pitbulls are led out by Aaron Burton, he's leading them out right now. Backed up by Morgan Garside. Burton's seen the, the majority of the work this season. 12-5-1 record of a 9-14 save percentage. On the back end, Tom Asprey, Jamie Lewis, Lee Duance, Scott Winton, Joe Morris and Victor Langseth. Uh, forwards, Jamie Newton, Dean Baker, Sam Davis, Nathan Chilcott, Josh Dolphin, Sam Bryant and Hayden Lee. I expect to see some of those defensemen take shifts on the, uh, the third forward line this afternoon. We have a three-man crew tonight. Lecky is one of the linesmen. I'll just wait until they turn away. Poulton, referring to a, a, we've got plenty of National League experience on the ice in terms of referees and on the Buffalo roster. Poulton, well, he refed here yesterday evening, in fact, in the, uh, the National League game. And yeah, he'll be assisted by Lecky and another linesman who has just gone out of picture. I will get your name, get her name as soon as I can. For now, we will pause ahead of the national anthem. So it's nearly time for hockey here in Bristol. Both teams looking to uh, set up a tie with the league champions, the Guildford Phoenix, after they cruise through against the Solent Junior Devils last night. The other, uh, the other tie will be the Peterborough Phantoms twos against either the Harringay Huskies or the Invicta Mustangs. And I mean, uh, a big upset it was yesterday in Harringay with the Mustangs winning the, the two v seven matchup. I mean. The, you look at the Buffalo lineup, and uh, you said about the or said about the National League experience they have, especially the forwards: Harkup, Wilson last year, Pets last year, Samford last year. They're a very good team, and they've they've got that that top line that can cause so many problems. The other the other side of the ice, the Pitbulls, obviously missing a couple of guys. Noah Betts, who's, who's up here, who will have a conversation with at some point, and Ollie Sean, two guys that are point the game players for the, for the Pitbulls, who they're without tonight. They do have depth throughout the lineup. You look a lot of the forwards are the point of game players as Sam Bryan is, is the lowest scoring forward with 12 in 18 games. He brings a, a physical aspect is, is despite his size, he, he'll throw the body and he's not he's not afraid to or he won't shy away from anything. And then Dan Weller Evans, I said that the two netminders split the uh, ice time. Dan has a 9.16 save percentage and a 3.02 goals against average. He gets the start and I guess you, you worry for a, a team at this level, you play 22 games, you don't get too many double headers over a weekend. 
if the Pitbulls uh, might struggle perhaps at the back end of this game with, with such a short bench. Six, well, it's, it's listed as 67 forwards. I'm expecting uh, Winton and Jamie Lewis to play shifters forwards. They're going with Baker, uh, Bryant and Dolphin on this opening, and Lee on this opening shift up against the, uh, the big boys for the Buffalo. So uh, Pets on the draw and the uh, the Buffalo will win that opening draw and they play it back to Stevens on the back end. Stevens across this near side. It's a nice stretch pass. So they're just behind uh, Samford. And the Pitbulls, well, they won't clear the zone. Here's Samford. Samford looks at the pass to Wilson. It's tipped into the corner by Burton. Both teams battle down there and the Pitbulls have come away with it. But it's kept in again at the line. And given away by Pets. Played ahead and I heard a tip. I'm not sure if off, it was off. The, it was stick on stick, no tip on the puck, and that face off will come straight back down into the Pitbull zone. So, no changes from the, the Buffalo, no surprise. They want to uh, take advantage of this offensive zone draw, but the Pitbulls will clear, and they'll Hayden Lee will rush off after that. Cleared up by Adam Jones, another former National League player. The Pitbulls have the puck in neutralised. Across this far side. Over the line by Lee. It's taken off his stick. The Pitbulls can't keep it in. Davis lays the hit, but it's cleared away. Here's Sam Davis. Bounces past one and gets through a gap and looks to break into the zone. But Tom Banner's there and he'll play off the glass and clear. The Buffalo take it back into their own zone before going for neutralised. That's a nice pass. And the Buffalo into the Pitbull zone. Shot on there, deflected off a stick. Good defensive work from Asprey. And the Pitbulls will clear. It's a nice hit as the, uh, the puck was dumped in to the Pitbull zone and then help them gain easy possession. Played ahead by Asprey. And they're looking for icing and that whistle will come. So uh, again, a, a face-off will come back down the length of the ice into the Pitbull zone. And good pressure. The, the, uh, this line centred by Harry Harkup. The, uh, he played 40 games for the Bees this season and has been... Uh, well, it's not centred by Harkup. It's centred by Buckle. He wins the draw on his uh, backhand side. Just comes out of the zone though. And the pit will strip the puck and there could be a chance. Weller Evans is going to come out and stop that chance. The puck just skated away or flew away from the pit will's forward on rushing. Buffalo coming over. That's a shot on net. Blocked away by Burton. And the pit will clear the zone. Nice move at the line and the pit are in. Shot from a tight angle. Tried to go five hole. The rebound's there. And the second rebound too. Pit have got it down low. Chilcott. Chilcott skates back up high. Swings it down low. Newton behind the net comes back up high. Shot from the tight angles off a leg, and Buffalo will gain possession. That's given away behind the net. Pitbulls regain possession. Good shift from the Pitbulls, their first of the game. Work down low, or oh, it's deflected, and a shot, a shot attempt doesn't get to net. It's cleared by the defenseman, but only as far as Gewin, so it bounces over his stick, and the Pitbulls will have it with Joey Morris. Morris ahead for Newton. Buffalo are changing. Newton stops at the blue line, waits for traffic to get to net. Tipped on, and Weller Evans makes a save. I don't think he knew too much about it off the tip, but makes himself big and does enough. And a much better minute or so for the Pitbulls there after a, a couple of icing calls. Just a smart play from uh, from Chilcott. Stopped up at the line. Knew the Buffalo were changing. And a change of mind of uh, which side of Weller Evans is net. This face off's going to be. It's coming to Weller Evans. Weller Evans is left. Dolphin wins the draw. Here's Dewans. He shoots through traffic off a Buffalo stick and off the pad. Fired on there and nearly got through Weller Evans. A shot from Joe Morris. It's cleared but not out. Pitbulls will keep it in. Work down low. He's given away. Vertinen. He can't clear the zone or the puck squirts loose and here come the Buffalo. Played ahead. Dewans off his skate. It's an awkward bounce. He backhands it into the corner. He plays up the boards as well. Buffalo good forecheck get, trying to get involved using that long bench perhaps to uh, to get in, in the football's faces and they've won the puck down low it's Louis Nicholson fired out in front but there's nobody there and the Pitbulls will go the other way here's Winton Winton ahead looking for Jamie Lewis and he's going to negate any icing he's hit well hit hard into the boards and the light on the uh, Buffalo come away played off the boards and uh, Buffalo will eventually clear the zone although they bring it back in Samford pass this near side that top line is going to complete the change. Pass to, well, ahead of Sanford's given away. 
Here's Langseth. Ahead looking for Baker. That's going to be picked off though by Adam Jones and he'll carry it over the line. Just taken off his stick at the good time for the Pitbulls. And Baker plays it ahead and the Pitbulls got a rush going. Down this near side, fired. Well, deflected and it's going to come out into neutralise. Pitbulls will dump it in. Langseth does so. Buffalo have plenty of time to work this out. Freddie Stevens has it behind the net up the right wing side. That's a nice pass, taking out two Pitbulls in the process. Two on two into the Pitbull zone. Sanford in. Sanford shoots blocked by Langser. Two hits on Sanford. Can't take the puck off him though. It's still buried on, on the boards. Wilson drags it out the player coach. He played ahead. Pitbulls can they clear the zone? No, they can't. Well, the puck squirts loose and the Pitbulls should do so now. Langser ahead. Baker tries to get it into the zone. Does so, but gives away possession in the process. Here's Wilson. Wilson passes this near side and Sanford's going to be there first. And he receives the puck again. Baker tries to go to the zone, takes a, an awkward bounce off his stick and still in there but eventually the puck squirts loose to the Pitbulls and they can lead the rush. Sam Davis. He's in, shoots. It's through! Dan Weller Evans, it comes off. I think the pad onto the blocker and in and the Pitbulls have got a lead and it's Sam Bryant, not Sam Davis with the goal. I said he was the Pitbulls' lowest scoring forward so far this season. It's not the prettiest of goals, but it's a goal nonetheless. And the Pitbulls have levelled this at 3 all on aggregate. And you see the replay was through a screen. And yeah, it comes off the, the top of the pad, off the back of the uh, blocker and beyond Weller Evans. And that's certainly one he'll want back. The Pitbulls won't mind. We're tied at three apiece on aggregate. Pitbulls win the draw, fire that in, and Weller Evans blocks it into the corner. Cleared away, but kept in at the line. Morris will fire that down low. Goes all the way around the boards, and Buffalo should be first to this. Backhand pass up the boards. Pitbulls, Dewan's punch, pinches in, and his shot is poor. He got, maybe got a bit ahead of himself. Did really well to pinch in, claim the puck, but he's just caught too much of the shot and fired up into the netting well wide. unassisted Sam Bryant goal for the Pitbulls means where they lead on the night and free all on aggregate it's clears the zone by the Buffalo icing event does come look it did look like for a minute that Xander Robinson might have been able to uh, negate it but the whistle goes that face off back down to the left of Weller Evans. It's a Buffalo win. Played ahead by Richards. Pitbulls keep it in the zone. That ball battle in front of the uh, Buffalo bench. Played ahead. Here's Chilcott. Tries to get it to net front. The only player there is a Buffalo player. They can't clear the zone. They fired on net. Sticked into the corner by Weller Evans. Played ahead, but Chilcott's there. He works it down low for Newton. Newton with a backhand shot. Save. Chance of a wraparound. Played out in front. Important stick from the Buffalo forward kept that away from Chilcott who was at, ne at the net front here's Robinson ahead does well gets through a couple of players Asprey and and him battle at the boards Robinson does well allows his team the line change and well eventually coughs the puck up but he's done a good job in the uh, the pitbull zone and that the, the uh, Buffalo kept it in momentarily but eventually Asprey will clear Chilcott can't get a can't get anything on the uh, the baseball swing at it and the Buffalo have possession in their own zone. Ahead into neutralise. Pitbulls tried to dump that in but no good and here come the Buffalo. That's a nice pass just in the uh, skates of Tempest. He's hit. Again the, the Buffalo are changing. Pitbulls can't clear the zone. Kept in. Worked down low. Here's Langseth. Langseth across the far side. No tip on that and that's going to be icing and just a little bit of pressure. The Buffalo get it into the zone, do well, it was, uh, Xander Robinson who did well, and people can't really get any, any control and end up icing the puck there and a chance for this top line to come back over the boards for the Buffalo to see what they can do. Well, the Pitbulls win the draw when it's fired around the back of Burton's net and the Pitbulls will clear but again this will be icing so they do the hard part and win the draw, but it's uh, going to come straight back down. And 
the uh, the female lines when her, her hair is covering the uh, the nameplate on her back. I can't quite see it. It's a face off again. The Pitbulls managed to win the face off as Joey Morris around the boards. Chilcott, he's hit as he tried to make a play. The nets off his moorings. As the uh, didn't quite see what happened. I think the Buffalo player may have just uh, skated into the side of the net or kind of a uh, bumped into the Pitbulls player and bumped into the side of the net. Pitbulls won't mind the whistle, the puck was still in their zone and they'll, they'll get a change because of it. Another face-off win for the Pitbulls, so he's dragged back well by Pets. Sanford hit as he makes the play, pass down low, Sanford oh, returns the favour and he's got the puck now, he shoots from a tight angle off the outside of the post. Sanford works it back down low to Pets. Pets looking for Sanford, it's deflected and Pitbulls through Lee will clear, plays that head for Baker. Baker on the chase. It's the Adam Jones that clears up and plays that ahead. Pitbulls momentarily back in their own zone, here's Sanford. Jones. Up ahead for Pets. Pets with a backhand pass looking for Wilson, it gets there, Wilson and Sanford. Well, Sanford went to the inside, the pass went to the outside and the Pitbulls can come the other way, Lee. Lee over the line, shoots, blocker saved by Weller Evans, Lee first to the loose puck, he's outnumbered in the end and the uh, Buffalo will come the other way, well, that's given away, a turnover in their own zone, shot on net, into the chest of Weller Evans, he gets his glove, pins it to his body and makes the stop, but a, a dangerous moment there, a, a loose or an errant pass in the Buffalo zone, the people skate onto it and fire on net but can't find the way past Weller Evans, and a tied but free apiece on aggregate, just un under eight minutes played in this opening period. Well, Pitbull's forced to turn over after the, uh, losing the face-off, shot out in front, good save, Weller Evans more than makes up for that, uh, the error for the first goal, robs, the, I think that's Chilcott in tight, yeah, Chilcott from one of the hash marks, the forehand shot, Rick got it away well, and Weller Evans gets his glove up and makes a stop, Newton well, can't win the draw, but the Chil Chilcott comes in to help, fire down low, Pitbull's have it behind the net, and come back up high, and then work it back down towards Chilcott, oh, it's Newton, across to Chilcott, Chilcott into net front shot, good block and it's come nicely for Robinson, well his pass is tipped well, good defensive work and the Pitbulls force the turnover, here's Newton, Newton ahead, he'll dump that in, it's Josh Richards back, he's under pressure, does well, Asprey pinches up and keeps the puck and shoots on net, deflected, well Owens can't cover up, the puck's still loose, it's swung around the boards, Langseth beaten to it and the Buffalo will clear the zone, Pitbulls need to be careful with that pass just behind Chilcott and he's going to have to get his legs going to get there first, Robinson will beat him to it but Chilcott does enough to stop any progress, it's worked beneath the goal line, Asprey does well, Chilcott backhands it up the boards and then Newton will complete the clear, that shouldn't be icing, it's waved off and both teams will look to change, Richards ahead, pass to Samford, Samford over the line tries to make a move on Dewance he stays with him, does well. And, um, Joey Morris involved, another player that played National League Hockey last year with the Pitbulls, and Morris has the puck. Sanford does well, gets the stick in the way. Chance on that really important block from, I think it's Asprey down low, gets it body in, on the line, and here come the Pitbulls the other way. Winton, Winton gets the puck beneath the goal line. Oh, he has it stripped well. Pitbulls, Winton finds it again, tries to fire a shot from behind the net. Pitbulls keep the puck though. Joey Morris. Works it down low, Winton. Winton under pressure, two Buffalo players. That's another turnover in their own zone, but not going to be punished this time. Just comes off a skate and the uh, Buffalo will clear the zone. Here goes Wilson. Long shift this top line. Wilson still going. Get, gets a shot away off the stick and up into the netting. Pittles doing well to, to uh, prevent the puck getting to Burton. He's not had to make too many saves so far, and the, uh, especially with that top line the uh, Pitbulls will want to keep it that way for as long as possible. You'll certainly see the, uh, I don't want to say the, the different uh, different level of ability from Wilson, but you can see how smooth a skater he is and how talented he is on the puck. He skated in there, the Pitbulls will win that draw and they'll clear the puck. Tipped, aw tipped ahead and that won't be icing. No, it will be icing. The tip, obviously not in, uh, didn't get in the red line and it'll come all the way back, but two fresh uh, fresh lines out there anyway so no real harm done perhaps uh, well that top line took a shift shift on shift off shift on there so uh, we might see the, the bench shortening already for the Buffalo 
and win that draw. Shot wide from Robinson. It's fired through the, uh, or just ahead of the blue paint. Nobody there. Buffalo first to lose, but go. Pickles win the ball, battles played ahead. That's an awkward bounce. It comes to Robinson. Robinson had his stick lifted well by Chilcott, and the Pitbulls all regain possession. Although here's Harkup. Harkup. Beneath the goal line, dispossessed by Asprey, and oh, his clearance hits the, the referee. With favorably for the Buffalo. It's pinned to the boards. Morris kicks it ahead. Morris still going, as is Chilcott. Can the Pitbulls clear the zone? Chilcott has it now, and he'll play it ahead. It's just a flex outside of the zone. Will it be dumped in by Sam Davis? Jones around the boards for Harkup. Harkup goes back to number 18. That's Freddie Stevens. Jones. Jones ahead for Robinson. He'll go to the bench. Here comes Buckle. His is cleared and, or deflected and doing will clear. Chilcott. It's Hayden Lee, in fact, on the far side. He'll stop up, play to the far side. Pittles are looking to change. They need to be careful. Baker's dispossessed. Morris under pressure from number 24. That's Louis Nicholson. Morris plays it around the boards. Lee, can he get the tip or doesn't need to? He doesn't clear the zone though. Morris lays the body, but there's a Buffalo player in behind him. He gets the puck, and we're going to have our first penalty of the game. The Pickles will gain possession before the six on five, but Morris is heading to the box for a tripping call at 11 25. And oh wow, there was a lot of penalties in the. Uh, in the game last night and we'll finally get our first here and the Buffalo will have a, a chance to level on the night and take a, take a lead although they did concede short-handed last night this is the top line with Jones and Harkup here is Jones across to Sanford Sanford shoots deflected off a leg and wide the shot was going wide and went the opposite side of the opposite way round Buffalo have kept it in, and they work it back to the blue line, and back down low, here's Samford skating in, pass to the far side, takes a deflection, important stick in the lane to stop that pass getting to its intended target, here's Samford again, but it's a pet, back to the blue line for Wilson, Wilson, his pass intended for Samford, comes off a, off a skate and will clear the zone, 35 seconds killed, here's Samford, Sanford over the line, looking to break to net perhaps, he's dispossessed and that puck will just creep over the blue line and the Buffalo have to reset, Wilson goes to Jones, it was, oh Chilcott having to go on the forecheck despite being short handed and here comes Sanford, played ahead, Asprey there, Buffalo haven't changed, Wilson takes a tumble over a stick, no call Buffalo have possession, they'll cycle it up high to Jones. Jones gets the forehand shot away, Burton makes a pad save, no traffic out in front, will cover up with 42 seconds left in the penalty on, well it's Jewins in fact, not Joey Morris, 14 not 44. Both, both teams change, the second unit out there the, the uh, puck stuck underneath the official, underneath the, one of the uh, Pitbulls sentiment comes loose for Banner shot on that the rebounds there Burton does really well and makes the initial stop and gets himself across to his, his post to uh, stop the rebound attempt Burton back behind his own net pass to Robinson between the legs of his uh, defenseman go back behind his own net and across to Banner Banner ahead gets over the line He's dispossessed. People should be able to clear. He's off the boards. It's not out. Gets to the blue line but doesn't come over. Hemmings Meyer can't get to it put first, and the Pitbulls will clear in the back to full strength. Fired in a, a high shot, a floated shot. Person will glove it and drop it, and the Pitbulls will look to carry on. Back five on five. Tipped by Chilcott. Lee's going to be first onto this. He's hit well by Adam Jones off the bench here come the Buffalo the other way that pass is behind Samford Morris will have to get there before the icing and Lee will well, he, he looked to tip it clear it bounces off Poulton skate and back to Lee Lee shoots blocker save Weller Evans Lee first to it again hit well pucks behind him he doesn't realise he lays a reverse it Lee has it again Lee oh, that's a 
little bit high, maybe uh, the height difference more than anything the, between the defenceman and Lee. The Pickles have the puck in neutral ice. Played ahead. Buffalo up this left wing side. Pets misses out, and here's Lee again. Lee over the line. He's looked lively, backhanded towards net. Well, Evans will just stick that to Jones, and Jones will play it around the board for Samford. Sanford, that's a nice pass, and it's a two on one for the Buffalo. Good work from Langseth to get, his, get himself in the way. Pass gets to net. Burton sticks it away. Wilson still gets there, and he's hit into the boards, and he's down. He's slow to get up. He will get up on, on his own accord. Here's Pets. It was a nice hit from Langseth. Buffalo player ahead that's missed. It's going to come off the linesman's skate. Langseth passed this near side into the Buffalo zone only momentarily, though. It's going to come back to neutralise. Dolphin back to his defenceman Lewis played ahead the second line out there for the Buffalo the Pitbulls have gained the zone dumped in and Dolphins off after it backhanded away it's Jamie Lewis is the only uh, player in the vicinity of Scott Winton in fact 17 but he his backhand back behind the net is easily intercepted Buffalo have it beneath their own goal line cross ice it's intercepted just gets away from Winton it'll backhand it down low and here's Jamie Lewis Another defenceman turn forward tonight. And the uh, Buffalo will clear the zone, and this time it will be icing, I believe. No, it just, oh yeah, it's just about. So uh, that was a, a fairly long shift for not not the uh, the top guys for the Buffalo, or the second unit is out there, or at least partially with uh, Harkup and Robinson. The Pitbulls will send out Newton, Chilcott, and Lee. And they'll win the draw. It's work back to the blue line although it's given away and Robinson has a well he had, had a lane perhaps but Joey Morris comes across and backhands it away just kept in at the line it's a chance perhaps for the Buffalo fired through traffic doesn't get to net deflected behind the behind the goal Buffalo have it again Morris doing well to keep the puck to the outside nice move to get in tight shot on net saved by Burton there's a shot from Buckle that Burton had to st stay big at the, uh, at, short, at the short side to a uh, prevent it sneaking by him he does his job Pitbulls maintain that one goal lead Burton and over the boards with Nicholson and Tempest and the former Pitbull Burton and of course it's a face off win for the Buffalo that's perhaps a high stick no call coming Pitbulls clear to the line but not out although they will clear the second attempt Davis in He's outnumbered in the end, played around the board so the Pitbulls should be first to this puck and are. Dewans. Oh, he lays a big reverse hit on number 28. That's Tempest. Well, Buffalo have the puck, he's played off the boards. Pitbulls will keep it in at the line, just about. Run around the boards. Newton oh, goes the wrong way around the net to get there, and Buffalo have easy possession. Played ahead. Nicholson chasing after it, no icing. Pitbulls play perhaps turn the wrong way, although the pass goes to the far side. And it's tipped ahead by Davis, not out, and be kept in. Fired on that from the blue line wide. Burton didn't get anything on that. That's a nice hit from Chilcott on his opposite number, 28 on 28. And Pitbulls will clear the zone. Newton ahead. Pitbulls are changing behind him. Newton oh, just tried to go one way and the other was taken off his stick by Stevens, but Newton wins it back. Newton fires it towards net, deflected. Saved by Weller Evans, gets his pad out. That clearance is off his own man, but it works out for the Buffalo. The top one back over the boards. Pets gets it to Sanford. Sanford tries to go short side. It was wide. Sanford still has it. Works it into the slot. Nice pass. Reverse pass to Wilson. Wilson tries to spin away from Newton. It's cleared away and out of the zone. Good work against that top line of the Buffalo that looked, looked frightening so far. Wilson ahead. For Pets. Pets drops it. Well, that's a nice hit. Both players hit the ice though, so Pets keeps the puck, plays it to Wilson. Wilson back down low for Pets. Into Sanford. Big save from Burton. Whistle goes. I think it maybe come off the mask. It looked like it maybe was the, 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 the neck area. It's a good stop from Burton with exactly two minutes to play in this opening period. Sanford just couldn't quite get the direction that he would have wanted on it straight at uh, Burton in the end he'll take take some time and we'll be back on the way we'll face off to his right 
Pets wins the draw, works it back to the blue line for Compton, the captain. Compton through traffic, deflected from, I think it was Wilson who got the tip. It goes pad save wide. Wilson tries to work it out down low. Tip was all backhanded up the boards, but not out. It's a nice hit from Chilcott. And from Lee, in fact, another nice hit. The Pitbulls certainly not showing away from the physical side of things this evening. Samford down low. Tries to come out back the side he came. Burton makes the, pa the, the pad save and covers up. Morris protecting his net minor from Samford. Uh, just maybe a bit overprotective, if anything. 1.34 left in the opening period. The face-off will stay in the pitbull zone, of course. Pets stays out there. The top line will stay out there, in fact. And Pets wins the draw. Wing and win, perhaps, for the pitbulls, though. They, they get in, but Wilson will have it down low. He's pinned to the boards by Chilcott. Two on two. Ball battle down in that corner, but beneath the goal line. Sanford looked like he was going to come away with it. The pitbulls will backhand it around the boards. Chilcott in after it. Kept in by Richards. That pass, looking to go out in front, comes off the leg of Joey Morris and the Pitbulls will be able to clear. It's a two-on-two, two. Newton. Newton will lead the rush for the Pitbulls, over the line. Looks at the pass to Davis. Davis on his backhand side finds Newton beneath the goal net. He's hit, plays the pass beforehand, Davis works it back to the blue line for Joey Morris. Morris swings it down low. Davis, Davis looking to get to net, he's surely having his stick held and will get a call and the Pitbulls will have their first power play opportunity. It's going to be called a hook, I thought it was holding perhaps, but... We, uh, we get the whistle with 48.6 seconds to go in this opening period. A chance for the Pitbulls to take the lead either this side or the other side of the first intermission. Well, Evans just fiddling with the net, not particularly happy. We did have issues with that goal net in particular last night. The pegs not really settling into place properly. So it's uh, 21, that's Adam Jones in the box and the Pitbulls win the draw back to Joey Morris. Joey Morris to the near side. The half boards. Back down low. Up to Morris. Morris feigns the shot. Goes back to Davis. Back to the point. Doesn't quite con control it. And the shot's off the t over the top of the bar. Backhanded up but not out. Asprey works it down low. Newton. He's hit by Banner but works it back to the blue line for Asprey. Asprey to the back door. Chilcott just couldn't quite control it. Chilcott gets it back though. He's cross checked in the backs very softly Morris through traffic off a leg back to Chilcott Chilcott shoots and scores the Pitbulls get a power play goal and it's Nathan Chilcott who rips it into the top corner Weller Evans had no chance and the Pitbulls now lead four for an aggregate it's 2-0 on the night and it's a power play goal with 12.5 seconds to go in period one It's a gorgeous shot from Chilcott. Morris's shot was off the leg, comes straight to Chilcott. There's a Buffalo body in front, a Pitbull body in front, and Chilcott shot over the shoulder of Weller Evans. He didn't, didn't even react, he had no idea. And the Pitbulls lead on aggregate. They've got the puck behind their own net. They just need to be careful these final three seconds. They work it to the half boards, and we'll get the buzzer for the end of the opening period. The Pitbulls with, well, the first period they would have dreamed of, really. They lead by two goals to nil, and I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Noah Betts. Noah, um, what did you make of that first 20 minutes? Uh, you know, so after the first 20, I think we've come out with the intensity we had in the third yesterday, which um, it was a lot better from the start of our game yesterday, and it's it's showing with the scoreline right now. So, hoping we carry that into the next two periods. Um, I mean, you, you look at their team and th their top line: Wilson, uh, Sanford, and Pets. They've caused problems but you kind of nullified them, plenty of bodies in the lane. How much focus was, it, was there on, on those three in, in practice this week? Yeah, we were told coming into this that they really only have two power lines, and it's at Wilson and uh, 29 and uh, number 11. Those are really their only two. And um, they got a guy in the second line who's pretty decent, but we were told if we can shut down those two lines, our third line can capitalize because we have three power lines. They really only have two. And uh, obviously yourself, you, you played last night. You, you, looking at you now you can see that the couple of high sticks you took how frustrating is it to not be out there in a big game like this you know it is quite frustrating you know taking two sticks to the face on two separate occasions and only getting a two minute on the second one it um it does boil the blood a little bit but um 
I'm just happy I can at least be here right now and cheer on the fellas. And uh, would that be the dream period to, to, to take in the league on, on aggregate as well as on the night? Yeah, you know, it's a dream period, you know, it's what we wanted coming in. We wanted the lead early, we wanted to be ahead and um, set the tempo early so we can go into those next periods flying. All right, cheers Noah. Um, so the Pitbulls lead by two goals to nil and 4-3 on aggregate after the opening period here in Bristol. We'll be back in about 15 minutes time for the second period.
Well, we're back. I'm sorry that we're, we're back late. We've missed a, an early chance for Pets. We got in two on one. And his shot was saved by Burton. The top line straight to work for the Buffalo. And they've cleared the zone here. They've got a three on two going the other way. That's a nice pass from Stanford. Wilson can't quite calm it down. Dewan hits him into the boards. Pitbulls will have it behind their own net. Played up the boards. Kept in at the line, but the Pitbulls will clear it the second attempt. Wilson ahead to Jones. Jones has got ice to skate into. Into the corner. Back to the blue line. It squirts out. Jones first to it. Yeah, Baker behind him if he uh, made a mistake there. Jones fires that around the boards and get the, uh, the Buffalo will change. Baker ahead. Can't clear the zone. Good shift from the uh, the Buffalo's top line. They've got at least a partial change. I think it's a full change, in fact. Pitbulls are pinned in their own zone at the moment. Harkup loses a loses the uh, puck and when he regains it he just fires it away Pitbulls clear Banner has it Pitbulls will get a half change and that dumping will be it, allow them to complete the change here's Harkup Harkup will carry the puck through neutralised into the Pitbull zone he evades a hit and will be first to the loose puck Harkup skates the net poked away either by the defenceman Morris or Burton, Morris that time gets his skate in the way, kicks it away, shot on that, Burton does well with the initial stop, he's batted out the air by Chilcott and the Pitbulls clear the zone but they're under heavy pressure in the first two minutes of this second period, Banner back behind his own net, stops up and will come back to this near side, he loses his handle on the puck, comes back to the blue line, Langseth keeps it in, Langseth checked from behind, does well to keep the puck in, the Pitbulls work it down low by Newton, just comes off the uh, skate of Davis and the Buffalo can clear. Pittles ahead off the board. Davis. Banner now. Battered out of the air and in deep. Asprey back. He'll slap that around the boards and Davis will skate onto it. Davis to Newton. Newton over the line. Looks to go back to Davis. Just too far ahead of him and the Buffalo will attack with speed. They got a change. They got some fresh bodies out there. Big slap shot into the glove of Burton. He makes the stop. The shot from uh, 29 Samford. It was a heavy shot, but no screen, no real screen in front. It meant Burton saw it all the way and made the glove save. Top line completes the change back out for the Buffalo, and they win the draw. Samford through traffic, an awkward one for Burton, but he gets his arm out and makes a save. Pitt trying to clear this. Oh, they clear the zone. But it's going to come straight back. Good uh, pinch from Jones. He has it again now. Jones into the slot, big chance, Burton makes a save, the puck's loose behind him, waved off by Poulton, the puck was loose behind Aaron Burton but he falls back on top of it, he had a defenceman helping him out, Asprey, Let's see where that, Let's see if we can see anything on the replay, perhaps on the camera behind the goal, no goal signal, we'll hopefully see that in the next break, Face-off won by the Buffalo. The shot from the face-off is deflected up and over. Stevens gets the puck down low. Asprey's attempt to clear is blocked. And the Pickles forced to come back the other way. Stevens comes loose for Samford. Samford back up to Stevens. Stevens through traffic. Tipped. Burton makes a stop and it's battered away. The Pickles have got a breakaway for, for Lee if they can find him. Baker just too slow to release the pass. He's dumped in. Weather Evans sticks behind his own net and the Buffalo will come again. Kept in at the line by the Pitbulls and the shot deflected off a stick up into the netting and will have a whistle in the Buffalo zone. Buffalo win the draw. Banner plays it around the boards. His hark up. He's pinned to the boards. But was win the puck back. Was outnumbered. And it's played ahead for Robinson. All he can do is tip it away. Well, he does work, good work on the forecheck. And he gets around Morris. Spins back up. And, well, I thought he was going to play the puck back up high. He's pinned to the boards by Morris instead. And Pitbulls work it around the boards. Lewis can't win it. Morris lays the hit. Pins Robinson to the boards. And here's Dewans. Dewans, he can't find a Pitbull's jersey, it's into skates. He'll ring around the board for Morris, it's just ahead of him. 
Pitbull's worked the puck back into their own zone through Mott into Morris. And away. It's a hit from behind that's not going to get a whistle. Tip the fired in on net. Weller and blockers it away. The Pitbulls will keep this in at the lot. Oh, they won't keep it in. Just comes over Morris's stick. Morris does well though, and he'll fire that back in on Weller and he'll close the five hole, make sure it doesn't sneak through. And Banner will start behind his own net. Pass to the far side for Harkup. Harkup gains the red line and dumps it in. The uh, Buffalo are changing. Pitbulls ring it up the boards. And Lewis has it. Lewis fires it towards the net, deflected, and Weller Evans will clear. Richards finishes the job. Pitbulls, well, they can't keep it in the line, and then it's a hit from Morris on Christian Nicholson, just in front of the Pitbulls bench. Puck in the Buffalo zone briefly, but cleared away. Here's Joey Morris again. He'll spin, go back behind his own net. Four check from Nicholson is coming. Morris plays it to Davis. Sam Davis. Carry the puck towards the right wing side. He's under pressure, but does well. Gets to the far side. Pitbull's D are changing. There's a ball battle down there. Two Buffalo players hit the ice, and we've got a whistle. There's a knee injury, I think, on uh, one of the Buffalo players. It looks like Vertonen. Hope the, the form of Pitbull's all right, of course. Yeah. First aid is for the uh, Buffalo on the way out. It's like a collision with the boards that uh, look, look to play the hit and he's gone knee first into the boards. Asprey, of course, is a paramedic on the pitbulls. He's out already. been a good first five and a half minutes of the period for the Buffalo. They uh, had a big early chance that we just missed as we came back with Pets and a two on one and that top line causing problems. No surprise the, uh, the experience those guys have in the National League, the points they put up. And Wilson 75 in 22 games, Pets 56 and 21 with Samford who's got 14 points in just the eight games. And you've got, you've got Hark up on that second line as well who's going to cause problems. Plays on the power play, that top power play unit. See some of the uh, the action from this opening of this second period, the first five minutes of it. It's all been in front of Aaron Burton, really. On a more uh, more general basis of the, of the league, you'll, you'll see you, you would have looked at the Buffalo last year, and they really struggled along with many teams. That must be said in the, in the national. Uh, NHL 2 South, the, uh, there seems to be a, a very big gap between the, the good teams and the, and the poor teams, but the Buffalo bridged that gap in the, uh, in this, across this summer. Looks like Burton's going to be helped off the ice by a couple of his teammates and Tom Asprey. It's uh, certainly a, a knee problem. It's applauded as he's helped to his feet. And we, uh, we wish the former Pitbull and the current uh, Buffalo assistant captain a, a speedy recovery. Good to see that he was okay enough to be able to get up and uh, get treatment off the ice. So the face-off will be to the left of Weller Evans. We're back and away with a Pitbull's face-off win. Shot on that goes wide. Kept in by Asprey. Fired around the boards and looks like Bryant will be first to it and is. Bryant battling behind the goal net. 
He's got a choice to get the wraparound. Gets the shot on that. Gets the second shot away. Third shot away. Weather Evans, equal to all of them, does really well under pressure. Here's Wilson. Wilson's pass is loose. Doing to keep it in. His shot goes wide. Shot from a tight angle. Fired through the slot. It's off a leg and rebounds nicely for the Buffalo. But Doing to be first back to it. Samford puts pressure on him and the clearance finds Pets, but he can't corral it and the Pitbulls will come the other way three on three. Lee, Lee over the line, gets it down low, loses the handle on it briefly, fires it into the paint, Weller Evans bounce, it bounces on Weller Evans, and the Buffalo will clear and they've got a man deep but it doesn't get there, the Pitbulls, well they lose p possession in, in centre ice. Here's Wilson, Wilson shoots, just squeaks through Burton but goes wide, through but out the side door, the Pitbulls get away with one there. Cleared to the line, but not out. Tipped, doesn't get to net. Comes back to the defence when the original shot, that's another deflected shot that doesn't get to net. Pitbulls clear the zone. Lee hit as he uh, cleared the zone by Pets. Fired on net, Burton makes the blocker save. Pets, he's upended, that's a nice hit check by Morris. He has a stick lifted as he get, went to clear the puck. Buffalo keep it in. It's deflected by Pets. Just needs to corral that and he would have had a good chance. It was Sanford, in fact. Good reverse hit, and the Pitbulls eventually will clear the zone. Banner back. He, he'll play it ahead. Pitbulls are changing, and the chance of Robinson. Robinson and Robinson shoots straight into the chest of Burton, who makes a good save. Robinson attack with speed. Not, not something we've seen too much of from the Buffalo. Not much, much in transition so far. Robinson gets his uh, skates going, gets a shot away into the chest of Burton. 12.49 to play in this second period. Pitbulls lead 2-0 on the night, 4-3 on aggregate. Asprey, after the face-off win, plays that around the boards. Nice hit, but the Pitbulls clear the zone. Here's Robinson again. Played ahead for Harkup. He can't bat it out of the air. And the Pitbulls will get it into the zone with Chilcott. Chilcott up against Richards, does well. Although Pitbulls give the puck away in the offensive zone. And win it back at the line and work it down low. Newton. Newton out front to Chilcott. Try to go short side. They get an early whistle. Weller Evans. Oh, I think the net might be off. But Weller Evans didn't cover the puck. Didn't make the save. But the whistle goes regardless. But again, it's Chilcott with a, a good chance. Already scored one. Gets on his forehand side. And yeah, I think it was just an early whistle in the end there. But good work from that this line of the Pitbulls. Chilcott and Newton combining again. The face-off win by... Bucky, a buckle in fact. Pitbulls win the puck in neutral ice. Played ahead. Newton to this near side to Chilcott. Chilcott spins. Can't find the loose puck and the Buffalo will come the other way. Park up. Park up over the line. He's hit as he looked to make a play. Putting pressure on and he's forced a turnover. Buckle back to the blue line. Fire through traffic by Compton. Deflected up and over the bar. Pitbulls to the line but not out. Chance out in the slot. Good save. The rebound was there momentarily. The Pitbulls first to it and they'll skate it away. Langseth over the line. We've got an offside whistle. He shot. Goes straight to Weller Evans to apologise. He shot as he crossed the line. Whistle came. No harm done. Weller Evans makes a stop. Will of course come out of uh, come out into neutral ice. Shot through traffic. The whistle as he as he released the effort. Both of well, the Buffalo not uh, not going to harass the official for uh, for any further punishment. It's a face-off win for the Pitbulls. Bryant, he'll cover, carry it over the line. Shot on net, a bit of a floater, but the Pitbulls are first to rebound. The shot goes just past Weller Evans' far post. Pitbulls have grown into the second period. Buffalo will clear the zone. Pitbulls dump it back in and have to tag up. You can certainly see the, the two teams' different mentalities on the forecheck. It was far shorter benched than their but the, the uh, visitors. It's dumped in by Wilson on to Burton. Burton will cover up with 11.05 to play. We're nearly halfway through this game. Tuning on the night, 4-3 on aggregate to the Pitbulls. Pets wins the draw at the second attempt. Sanford looks for a shot. It's blocked into the corner. The uh, attempt to clear it was fanned on, but Morris is there to, to clear, mop up the danger. And it's played away. No icing. And Banner will be forced to retrieve this behind his own net. Does well. He'll stop up and spin. 
ignores his defensive partner. Petz is in behind, the Pitbulls need to be aware, but Wilson's pass just didn't get to the target. Messy play and neutralised, we're going to get a, a penalty on the Pitbulls, but the danger's not over. Shot from in tight, saved by Burton, Burton makes a second save and covers, but they're going to be a Buffalo power play, it was, I assume, for the hit in centre right. it's going to be interference, I assume, though tempers flaring perhaps is uh, the, the uh, Davis who well, he pushed one of the Buffalo players into the net as the uh, as the puck was loose in front no further calls so the Buffalo will get their second power play opportunity of the game and on paper it should be a phenomenal power play all players that played either played National League this year or last year it's Hayden Lee in the box of two minutes of the footballs and that top unit does come straight over the boards. Petz, Wilson, Jones, Sanford and Harkup. It's a face-off win for the Buffalo. Work back to the blue now for Jones. Jones through traffic. Good save from Burton. Good glove save. His body's in front. He saw it all the way and made the stop. Two minutes of interference on Hayden Lee. And the Pitbulls win the draw. It gets it stuck in the skates of the uh, linesman. And the Buffalo will take advantage. Here's Jones. Loses the hand on the puck as he looks to shoot. Comes back to Wilson. Wilson to the far side. Park up to Jones. Jones shoots. Saved by Burton. The rebound was there briefly. Burton does well to stick it into the corner. Buffalo first to the loose puck. Samford to Hark up. Back to Samford. Thinks about the shot, goes back to Jones at the blue line. Jones through traffic, deflected wide, puck comes back out in front, and Burton makes a good stop from the backhand attempt from Pett. His power play putting a lot of pressure on the Pitbulls early, but Burton equal to it so far. It was a big bounce off the uh, off the backboards, and Pett's got the backhand shot away, but Bur Burton made the save. another face-off win for Petz pass to Wilson Wilson into the slot big save Bur Burton but the second goal the second attempt it's in and the Buffalo have leveled it up on aggregate Burton did all he could but the rebound comes to the Buffalo and to Paul Petz he buries it for the power play goal and we're back tied four apiece on aggregate two ones the Pitbulls on the night it was a big shot from Samford Burton made the pad save he just needed some help from his defenseman there so the loose puck came into a into a crowd really but Petz was the quickest to react and that power play does deliver back and away with a Buffalo face off win banner ahead it was oh, it's a good job in the end from uh, the defenseman Asprey Buffalo forced to turn over and neutralise and they'll dump that in or it, or it hits the referee and stays in neutralised Buffalo have it again Harkup misses the pass he's going to put pressure on Joey Morris Morris around the boards Newton ahead can't clear the zone but it's given straight back to the pitbulls it's Baker in fact but it's given away again this time by Lewis shot blocked, in, blocked away by Burton Morris under pressure plays out the boards and it just escapes the zone Here's Banner ahead for. Oh, it's a nice move. The, could be a chance for the Buffalo in tight. Good save from Burton. The rebound's there, and it's in. Just creeps over the line, and the Buffalo have turned this game around in a matter of seconds, really. And it's Harry Harkup with the goal. He led the line to the bench. We'll see it again. It was a really nice move to get some. It's Robinson with the move, gets the net. Burton makes the save. The puck came to Harkup and it just squeaks through Burton yeah it is Harkup's goal and the Pitbulls couldn't get to it to clear it off the line before it dribbled over just just squeaked through in fact the Pitbulls player did get there Morris gets there before the puck crosses the line but couldn't get couldn't drag it out from the from the goal line and the Buffalo tied it two on the night lead 5-4 on aggregate top line from straight back over they're looking to perhaps kill this in this second period Pets down low fired out in front good save from Burton again try to go short side here's Wilson Wilson shoots wide Pets first to it 
takes pins on the board, fires it back out in front, comes to Jones. Jones through traffic, saved by Burton. He'll fall on it. We'll get some pushing and shoving at net front. Wilson looking for the rebound. Well, the Pitbulls need to weather this storm. It's been, well, since that penalty, been all Basling Stoke. And they're back ahead on aggregate. Top line stays out for the Buffalo. And Pets wants well, work back to the blue line. Jones has it. Jones skates in. Shots deflected. Sanford nearly got his stick on that. He would have had a not quite a tapping at the back door, but he would have had a big chance. The Pitbulls still struggling to get any real possession. Davis fanned on by Langseth. Well, eventually it works out. The Pitbulls have a three on two. Davis over the line. Drop pass. Shot on net. Weller Evans gets through his glove, but Baker. Well, was, could have got to the rebound but missed the backhand pass it's cleared away off the leg of Langseth and here goes Lee Lee over the line Lee shoots deflected off a stick and up into the netting we'll have a whistle this time well, for the first time in a while it feels like in the in Dan Weller Evans' zone in the, next to the goal the Buffalo are defending The Pitbulls just need to be strong mentally here. It's obviously tough to concede two goals in quick succession, especially when those are the game tying and game leading goals. Morris through traffic. Weller Evans didn't see it till late. Goes over the bar. Tried to be sneaks in short side by Newton. With Buffalo first to the loose puck and they'll clear. Morris puts it back into the offensive zone, but the Pitbulls were offside, so they'll have to tag up. Banner crosses the fence from played ahead. It's loose, and the Pitbulls will gain possession. Good four checking, but the Pitbulls negate it well. Newton pass finds Davis. Davis over the line, looks for a pass in the slot. There's nobody there. Pitbulls keep it in. Shot on net. Chance. Oh, deflect. I think Weller Owen's got a piece of that. Tips it onto the post. Big chance for the Pitbulls. It's a broken stick on the play. Look, Pitbulls want slashing, but he's going the other way. Two on one. Big chance for the Buffalo. Shot on net. Saved by Burton. The Pitbulls first to the loose puck. And they'll clear the zone. Oh, they won't clear the zone. It's kept in. There's a chance. Burton does well. Gets short side. The puck just went be below the goal line. Then Buckle couldn't get a good opportunity away. Davis stopped up. Past this near side. Pitbulls are changing. So he's going to give the puck away. And it's played ahead. Robinson to net front. Big chance for the Buffalo. And they score. Hark up with his second. And the Buffalo have really turned it around. They now lead 6-4 on aggregate. 3-2 on the night. And Harry Harkup, the man involved. Timeout Pitbulls, no surprise. The Pitbulls, well, they haven't been able to. Uh, quite get anything going in the second period they had a good few moments following the injury delay but apart from that it's been all Buffalo and Stuart Spells needs to uh, try and get a handle back on this game So timeout over and the, uh, I said the Buffalo now lead free to on the night, 6-4 on aggregate and the Pitbulls have a mountain to climb again. We do feel for Aaron Burson in that, he's, he's faced a hell of a lot of pucks in this, uh, in this second period. The Pitbulls outshot the Buffalo in the first, it's certainly not been the case in the second and the Buffalo goes straight back to that top line after a, a, the, the goal from Harkup's line. Pets wins the draw. He's under pressure though, but gets help from Samford. Stevens ahead for Pets. Tipped in. Burton will stick it into the corner. It's deflected by Poulton. Pitbulls will eventually poke it over the line. 
They don't have possession. The Buffalo do. Backhand pass for Pets. Pets does well. Delays. Gets into the zone. Asprey's there. Asprey off, off the boards and it comes loose and the Pitbulls should be able to get the clear but that's all they'll be able to get. Buffalo again have possession. Here's Stevens. Stevens gets into the zone. Pets. Gets away from Bryant. But not from Langseth. Langseth has it now. He'll backhand that away. Again, it's uh, on Weller Evans. So the Buffalo have to play this, and Weller Evans has to cover in the end. And we eventually get a whistle. Well, the Pitbull's just really struggling to get any momentum, string any, any shifts together at the moment. Desperate to, to tie the uh, to tie tonight tonight's game in this period. The Buffalo win the draw, but the Pitbulls forced the turnover. Chilcott in Chilcott shot deflected, clear to the line. Joey Morris has it now. Morris through traffic, saved by the stick of Weller Evans. Big hit. Morris will keep it in at the line and puts it in deep. P Pitbulls are pinned to the board. Banner doing the defensive work. The Pitbulls player goes over a stick. Certainly not a tripping. Well, we're going to get a whistle. It's underneath Tom Banner. 5 12 to play in period two. 6 4. It remains an aggregate in favour of the Buffalo. The game just got a bit messy for the Pitbull's perspective. They allowed that breakaway. That gave the Buffalo the go ahead goal tonight. So the Pitbull's well, win the draw, but the. the the winger comes in to clear the puck for the Buffalo. It's Robinson that's going to be icing. I think that's a bit harsh on the Buffalo, really. I don't, don't think that uh, Dewan's put too much effort into skating that, skating that down and could have got there, but the Pitbulls won't mind. 5 3 to play, period two. a face-off win for the Pitbulls although the puck, they couldn't find the puck and it eventually comes out for the Buffalo Robinson oh it's Sanford over the line sticks into the corner by the Pitbulls Wilson back to the blue line Richards through traffic goes wide and the Pitbulls will clear and they get it out of the zone they can Newton backhand pass ahead for Chilcott Chilcott in Chilcott tries to get break to net good defensive work kept the puck to the outside Chilcott couldn't get a shot away Runs into, wow, well, pushed into whatever is more than anything. Dewance gets the loose puck, fires it into the corner. We've got a whistle, and I think the net's off it is. And the Pitbulls maybe showing signs of life. Their first, well, I hardly call it a chance, but their first good spell or a good bit of pressure on that shift. Dolphin on the face-off for the Pitbulls and he'll win the draw. Dolphin shoots, deflects off a stick and wide. Buffalo is good patient play from Harkup. Two goals of good defensive work and well, they, Jones breaks through a check and carries it over the Pitbulls line. Jones shoots wide. Burton might have got a piece of it. Jones is first to the loose puck. Asprey tries to play ahead and the Pitbulls should play the zone and do although, although the uh, defence will falls to the line here's Hayden Lee Lee on his own makes a nice move gets the backhand shot away but it's an easy save for Weller Evans from that tight angle couldn't elevate over the pad and Weller Evans just had to stay strong at the short side Robinson he'll dump it in Pitbulls first to the loose puck played ahead into the uh, skates of 24 that's Louis Nicholson tipped in his Banner, furthest player forward for the Buffalo. Taken off his stick, he's battling for it with Asprey. And Tuck eventually comes loose for the Buffalo. And the Pitbulls player's down on top of the uh, Buffalo player stick, Buff Banner's stick. Banner not happy. The Pitbulls can't clear the zone. Chance for the Buffalo into the, the shots into the chest of Burton. He'll make the stop. And they need him more than ever. It's a shot from uh, Pets. Again, just didn't quite have the direction needed to beat 
Burton. He's saved pretty much everything you'd expect him to save so far. Maybe a, a, a tad frustrated the one that snuck through him, but on a rebound always tough. 3.08 to play in period two. The two captains having words with referee Poulton. Face off to Burton's right. Pitbulls win the draw. It's not clean defensive work, but the Pitbulls will clear the zone, although Newton doesn't really corral it, although it's just messy play at the moment. Pitbulls go offside. I have to tag back up. Davis. Newton looking for Chilcott. Just ahead of Chilcott. We'll get first the loose puck. He's hit as he looked to go to net. Banner bounces off of him and hits the ice, but Banner did enough, really. He stopped Chilcott getting to the loose puck, and it just rolls harmlessly to Weller Evans, who'll cover up. Face off to the right of Weller Evans. It's one by the Buffalo, played around the boards by Jones. Pitbulls will keep it in at the line. We'll work it down low for Newton. Newton hit by Jones. Jones boxes out well. It's fired out in front still, but Buffalo first to it. Newton spins away from Jones. Can't get to the loose puck though. Harkup does well behind his own net. He's under pressure. Eventually squirts loose and squirts loose for Robinson. It's a nice, beautiful lead pass. Just evades the uh, buckle and we're going to have icing buckle try to uh, try to bat it out of the air and get the breakaway and the end that's slowing down cost in the icing and the pitbulls will have a face off to the left of weather this time they'll change davis dolphin and lee out there the pitbulls can't win the draw it's played around the boards the defenseman pinches in, the Pitbulls will keep it in. It's kept in at the line again, this time by David or by uh, Dolphin, but it, his shot is uh, off a of Pitbull's leg and clears, cleared out of the zone. Pitbulls will dump it back in. Backhand pass from Jones, nobody there, but Buffalo under no pressure to uh, to get to get there in, uh, in any speed. Here's Davis, a uh, Bryant in fact, ahead to Lee. Davis again. Played ahead by Dolphin, but it's straight to Jones. Seems like he's played almost every minute of this second period for the Buffalo. Pass to the far side, just out of the reach of the Buffalo forward. And here's Langseth. Langseth head looking for Lee. Well, Lee and Newton are in. Thought the whistle went. No offside. Pitbulls keep hitting on the line. Dolphin can't get there. He's played ahead. Langseth takes it out of the sky and dump it in. Pitbulls had to tag up behind the uh, Buffalo net played up the boards Pitbulls will keep it in as hit from behind Pitbulls have the puck shoot on net off the chest of Weller Evans and, and up and over Pitbulls again keep it in and it's caught out of the air and Buffalo around the boards pinned in their own zone for the last minute or two Wilson hit hard they'll bounce off it and clear the puck and they've got three on two developing Wilson dumps it in he's hit hard again Pitbulls first to lose puck back and around the boards but Sanford's first to it Sanford's shot goes wide. That puck should come out of the zone. It does eventually with the help of Joey Morris. He'll get it into the Buffalo zone, but no pressure on the Buffalo. Pass into neutral ice. Final 20 seconds. Wilson can't control that puck. Morris back behind his own net. Well, it's pass evades Buckle. Well, it was a dangerous pass. It's going to be icing anyway. But for a second, that pass looked from Morris. Look, it was take to take to buckle. Would have stayed in the uh, pitbull zone. Instead, it's going to be a face off with 10.9 seconds to go in period two. The face off spore, but the pitbulls come away with it. Can they create one shooting chance? That pass is just behind Dolphin and the uh, buzzer will go at the end of the second period and the Buffalo have turned this game on its head trading 2-0 after 20 minutes 
and 4-3 on aggregate. They now lead 3-2 on the night and 6-4 on aggregate. Pitt was a bit, a bit disappointed not to get a call before. Well, at, at 2 all, Harkup then went on and scored. Um, and it's Harkup with two, including a power play goal. Burton stood tall at times and I mean it, it, it has to be said it's been all Buffalo in this second period but the um, the Pitbulls are still in this game they trail 3-2 and I'm delighted to say I'm going to be joined by the Pitbulls youngest ever point scorer Joey Kakavale now and Joey um, well I was saying to, to Noah that the, the first period was the dream period for the Pitbulls the second period was, was a not more of a nightmare yeah yeah the second period they really turned on us a bit i feel like we had a lot of momentum at the end of the first but obviously basingstoke came out really strong and um yeah they capitalized on a few chances and obviously they've got the lead now so i think we just need to turn, help turn it around for the set for the thirds and um it should be good but as it is. yeah I mean, you look at that that second period that the people's never really got going but then once that third goal's gone in and the, the timeout's called, you've kind of grown into the period. Is it, is it trying to take that, that small momentum and, and build on that for the third? Yeah, we've just got to build on anything we can, really. Obviously, like, they, Basin Stewart came out really strong, had a few really good chances, and obviously got the best of them. So we just need to make the most of each little chance we got, try and build some momentum on top of it, and um, fingers crossed, score a bit. Uh, and, and personally, of course, you're, you're the, the first graduate of the the Bristol Junior setup since they've moved back to Bristol you, you've got a point on your debut how cool was it to, to play, play senior, your, your first game of senior hockey oh it was amazing like the boys made it really special really took me under their wing and um, made sure I made the most of it and enjoyed it and obviously coming over the big win was huge as well it made it even better so nothing I'd change about it and, and of course getting your first point yeah that was good but the main thing I care about is making sure obviously the boys were happy with how I played team won that's what matters to me so all right well thank you joey we'll be back in about 15 minutes for the third and final period the buffalo lead by three two on the night and six four on aggregate
welcome back to the pound for period three and IHL two playoff quarterfinal second leg action the Buffalo as oh, the boys the basin so Buffalo as you can see lead by three goals to two on the night and six goals to four on aggregate the Buffalo back out on the ice and I mean uh, we uh, I've been saying at the especially in the first period the long bench of the uh, the Buffalo might come to their advantage after the second period their their top two lines probably played more than the Pitbulls did so uh, we'll see how this third period unfolds the Pitbulls will be looking for an early goal without any shadow of a doubt as we wait well, some of the Pitbulls are on the bench just waiting for Aaron Burton to lead his uh, his team out and here they are it's a big 20 minutes to uh, get the honour of facing off against the Guildford Phoenix on Saturday again oh, in Haringey at the Alexander Palace in London no surprise that the uh, Buffalo will start with that top line that's oh, it's only got one of the goals but has been causing problems all game got a small delay one of the doors left open if it was come back out for this second or well, this third period there's a face-off one at the second attempt for pets and the Buffalo will have possession it's cleared down it's going to go on to the stick of Burton so no icing Morris ahead off the boards just clears the zone it's cleared to Wilson Wilson tries to muscle through two but taken off of him and Pitbull's under pressure in their end zone but will clear the park Jones just about squeaks it past uh, Pets and will get it back from his defensive partner Stevens Jones ahead for Sanford Pets looking to bounce one off the board it's intercepted but Pet oh, it's Wilson who gets it back Wilson shoots good save from Burton played off the boards as the Pitbulls look to clear and they will get it out of the zone Compton to the far side for Banner tipped in to the Pitbull zone by a Pitbull skate or a stick and the Pitbulls will look to change Lee carries it over the line but he's good back checking from Samford means the Buffalo get possession back although Samford gives it away pushed down low by Newton Banner plays up the boards looking for Samford it takes an awkward bounce and will come out of the zone Asprey Asprey ahead and that's going to be offside and no, it's not going to be offside shot from the high slot straight into the chest of Weller Evans looked like uh, Chilcott had taken a tumble and sort of just rolled into the Buffalo zone but no icing or no offside called and the shot gets on net but it's a comfortable stay for Weller Evans the face off will be to his right and the Clippers win the draw get it back to the blue line shot through traffic doesn't get to net rebounds loose it was the first to it Chilcott it gets far too much on that to try to ring that round and the Buffalo eventually clear the puck and skate out and somehow Buckle still got it is eventually pushed away from him but he'll keep the puck and backhand it in and the uh, Buffalo will change that first line straight back out so he's taken the first and third shift of this period Banner under pressure just about gets away from the uh, Pitbulls forecheck the Pitbulls forecheck a lot more lively early on in this third period Pets Pets under pressure does well skates through two and here goes Pets past the Wilson Wilson and Wilson shoots saved by Burton just about covers before Wilson can get to his own rebound have a face off in the Pitbull zone with this top line I'm not going to say they look like it's going every time on the ice but they're creating every time they're on the ice that's for certain just have a slight delay I think perhaps a skate blade has come off of somebody and back and away face off win for the Buffalo works to the blue line Jones fires wide and Duance is after it he loses his stick and pins to the boards Puck's pinned to the boards not a stick Sanford battling away with Duance Duance plays it back into the ball battle it's on the uh, they need a player to get in there the, either team and it's eventually squared to loose back towards the blue line and the pit was all clear and Davis has got the uh, got the speed to get away from Stevens and work it back up high his drop pass or his backhand pass is loose shot on it's headed away by Weller Evans it was a shot from Hayden Lee 
It was high, probably going over. Weller Evans decided to head it away. Here's Jones. Very calm and composed on the puck. Played ahead. Wilson. Wilson will dump it in. Samford sent to chase. Played around the boards. The uh, Buffalo are changing behind those two. Cross ice passes off the uh, skate of Wilson, and the Pitbulls will gain possession through it. Dewans. He's poke checked by Wilson. Two on two going the other way. Pitbulls are making a change. So Langsess comes off the bench. Shot on net into the chest of Burton. And he'll cover up, pins it to the body. Yeah, and the Pitbulls just they has been more in this period than they, they were in the second early on but not really creating too much yet uh, yeah false start on that face off signaled by uh, the linesman Leppi now in front of us it's a face off win for the Buffalo try to get a shot away but Langsess there and he'll backhand that clear Chilcop tips it but straight to Robinson poked away Good line of skating from Compton who's onto the puck. Compton shoots uh, blocker save from Burton, doesn't go anywhere, just drops down in front of him. He needs to stick to, to bring it in and cover. Sixteen twenty one to play. Buffalo have still have that two goal aggregate lead. Pitbulls win the draw with the help of Langsiff who swings it on the boards. It's a blind pass and the Buffalo are first to it but good work on the boards from Sam Davis to clear the puck played ahead by Hemmings Meyer Asprey back Asprey's pass is intercepted but the Pitbulls are first to it Newton will get it into the uh, Buffalo zone Richards across to his defensive partner who fans on the, the first clearance but gets it away at the second attempt here's Asprey Asprey off the boards tipped in Lecky signals as such. Here's Richards. Richards ahead, clears the zone. The forward does well to get away from Newton and Chilcott. Pass is just behind number 24, that's Louis Nicholson. The pit was clear to neutralise. Hark up. For Jones. So, collision in centre ice. Cycled around the boards. It's Christian Nicholson off after it. Joey Morris gets it to his pass, so they can't clear the zone. Morris battling away and clears it out. And the Pitbulls might have a half a chance here. That's a good hit from Adam Jones. The Pitbulls forward loses the glove in being hit. It was a uh, 56 Sam Bryant. He has to retrieve that. And Buffalo have easy possession in their own zone. Well, that's a nice hit. Although the Pitbulls player comes off worse. It's five back in deep. Pitbulls have to tag up, but it's a bit of noise in the building. A, a big hit. Pitbulls have the puck in neutral ice. Morris looked to clear it in from the red line with fans on it. Dewance, he'll carry it over the red line and shoot into the glove of Weller Evans and he'll cover up sensibly. 14.33 to play. Maybe could have thought about killing some time but Dewance was, uh, was chasing that down if he uh, decided to do so. And after a, a couple of shifts off that top line for the Buffalo back over the boards. Newton wins the draw, Asprey has it, tries to swing it around the board, takes a deflection, and the Buffalo could be away three on two, pass to oh, Buckle on the far side, Buckle shoots, stick save from Burton, the rebound's cleared away, and there's Banner in neutral ice, Banner spins away from Newton, and he'll dump that in on Burton, who makes a pad save, and leaves it for Asprey, Asprey up the boards, looking for Newton, again Banner's there, tries to spin away from Newton again, Puck's pinned to the boards, and pushed ahead, pushed back into the uh, pile. And eventually, it's going to come loose for the Buffalo. Well, that Pitbull's still battling. It comes, eventually, comes into the Buffalo zone. And here is Wilson. Wilson, a nice lead fee for Samford. Samford looks for Pets. It's just behind him. And it's Buckle, in fact, not Pets. Samford has it again. Cleared away by, from Newton. And Newton has it again. It was under pressure, they'll swing it around the boards and that's a good clearance. Tipped by Chilcott but it's not going to get away from Jones. And Buffalo will come back in. That attempted tip in is deflected off the, the player's skates. 
got a penalty here on the Pitbulls for a hook. At exactly the wrong time for the Pitbulls there. They've kept themselves in this game without really doing too much in this third period, but now they're going to have to kill two minutes shorthanded. We feel like if the Buffalo can get a goal, they'll almost kill this uh, two legged affair. There's Chill caught in the box for hooking. Face off win for the Buffalo. Jones. Jones back to the far side. Fire through traffic comes off a, a Buffalo player and deflected into the corner. And first the loose puck. Samford across to Jones on the far side. Doesn't have much room to work with. Goes for a shot, bounces back to him off the boards fortuitously. He has it again at the hash marks. Up high to Wilson. Wilson skates into the high slot, shoots good block of save from Burton. Again, Buffalo first to the loose puck. Fired out into the slot. Burton makes the first save, the puck's loose. Fired again. It was a just about get to it and clear the zone. Here's Jones. Pass to the far side for Pet, for Samford. Looking for a pass into slots, off, a, off of skates, hark up into help. The Pitbulls have possession, and Newton, while well, nearly because there is a good play from Wilson to stop the clearance. Here's Jones. Jones through traffic, saved by Burton. There's bodies in front, but not really in the eye line. And oh, that's silly from Joey Morris. He's going to be called. He hit the stick out of the Buffalo player, or is it going to be on both of them? I'm not sure, but there's a line on with each. Yeah, they're both going to go. Morris to the box. Uh, it looks like Harkup. Let's see. The, line, the lines winner is skating. Harkup are accompanying him. And yeah, they're both going to the box. So we'll continue five on four. Well, you'd say one of the uh, people's key defensemen, Joey Morris, in the box, their captain. Park up two goals tonight. Pets will buckle count win the draw. And the the uh, Buffalo will win the puck back regardless. Jones works it to Samford. Samford looking for a lane to net perhaps. Leaves it for Jones. It's deflected up into the uh, into the netting. It's a two minutes for hooking, I believe, on Hark Up 2 for slashing for Joe Morris. 36 seconds to go on the power play for the Buffalo. Mostly stuck with that top unit. Buckle there taking the face off. I don't think I've seen Pets much in this third period at all. Here's Jones. Jones through traffic, block a save. Might come off the, uh, the meat of the glove, in fact, of, uh, of Burson, but the Pitbulls are first to the rebound and clear. Jones takes the awkward bounce off the uh, Zamboni doors. He's under pressure, but does just about enough, and the puck's going to come for Robinson with speed. Robinson over the line. He's got room for a shot, does shoot off the blocker. The rebound's there, but the pit was first to it, and they'll clear, and that should just about kill the penalty, or it hits the, uh, hits the clock. He's in fact, the face-off being neutralised with seven seconds left in the Chilcott minor. Dolphin on the draw against Pet. There he is, he's back out there. Banner to the far side, played in. It should be icing. And it will be icing. Pit was a return to full strength as that whistle's blown, so they'll have a, an offensive zone draw just as they return to five on five. An important kill for the home team. to the right of Weller Evans who hasn't really had much to do since the opening period but will get a shot on that Weller Evans will stop that with his stick and cover up a fairly tame shot that uh, rolled along the ice face will stay to the uh, to the right of Weller Evans this time the Buffalo win it swung around the boards played ahead by Hemingsmeyer here's Petz Asprey does well up against Pets, but Pets still gets to the loose puck, gets it back to the blue line, shot from Banners deflected, and Pets will have it down low. Buffalo still got it down low, they've got two men behind the net. 
left for Pets. Pets out in front. Shot important. Uh, pad save there from Burton. Again, the Buffalo piling pressure on Banner. Works it down low. Nicholson. He loses it there, and the Pitbulls will get the clear. And here's Jamie Lewis. A rare shift for the, uh, the line with the uh, two defensemen playing as forwards for the uh, Pitbulls. It's coughed up and neutralised by the visitors and then coughed up by the Pitbulls. Newton couldn't find his man. That's played in. Burton will stick it into the corner. That's loose from the Pitbulls. Just about get away with it. Played back around the boards, but the Buffalo will have a fence at the same time. Tipped on net. Buckle was looking for it. It was between the legs of Burton. He managed to sit down on it and cover. 10 8 to play. The Pitbulls living dangerously here. They've given the puck away too many times in, in both their own zone and neutral ice. Burton just about saves the uh, redirect. Managed to sit on the rebound to uh, prevent uh, what would have been a tap in for Buckle. The Pitbulls may get away with one there. It was, uh, could have been a trip perhaps, but the uh, called a false start by Lecky, the uh, linesman. Buckle wins it all with a second attempt to get as well. Shot on net. Good rip, snapshot from Samford. Again, Burton level to it. He's keeping his team in this game. Buckle wins another draw. Well, it comes loose to the Pitbulls, and the Pitbulls all look to attack down the left wing side with Chilcott. Chilcott just can't quite take the puck with him and he's given away. Here's Newton. Newton close to neutral ice. Sanford has to stop up at the blue line, but does so. He'll shoot from, a, from the blue line it's high and wide and is going to come all the way back down into the Buffalo zone with Jones. Wilson gets away from Newton. Wilson down the left wing side. Wilson goes around the back of the net, comes back out in front. Wilson shoots and scores. Beats Burton short side. Wilson showing his class, showing the, showing his team out. It's down the player coach and that might have just put this game to bed for the Buffalo. He skated down low and there was just no pressure on him as he come, come out. Morris was the man on him as he went round the back of the net and come out the other side and shoots over the shoulder of Burton. 9.29 to play and the Pitbulls need three goals and they haven't really looked like scoring since that opening period. <laughs> Buffalo have possession in neutral ice. Pitbulls here's Asprey on the far side. Doesn't really connect with that pass but clears the zone at the very least. Here's Baker, we got offside. I think that was a bit, a bit harsh but... Whistle goes, 9.10 to play. Another face off win for the Buffalo, they've been really good on the face off tonight. It's fired in deep on, on Burton. He plays it for Asprey, and Asprey around the boards for Baker. Baker ahead, clears the zone. Robinson will be first up, Buck skates behind the back of his own net. Pitbull's doing a good job on the four check and hit, Robinson's hit hard. Pitbull's forced a turnover. So, offensive zone time. Baker can't beat Banner and will clear to the line but not out yet but the Pitbulls had to retreat and Banner has easy possession in his own zone and escape back behind his own goal line past this deep on the far side on this near side that's surely a hand pass and the whistle comes Robinson was looking to get on the end of it but he was boxed out and Park up got there and that's going to come back to the uh, the Buffalo side of neutral ice a face-off win for Newton and here's Langser to pass to the far side for Chilcott. Hemmings Mayer gets there first. Langser. Langser gives it away. Chance of the Buffalo. Shot from in tight. Saved. Pass comes all the way back to the blue line. Samford again on this near side. Skates it down low. He's hit as he looked to make a play. Samford gets it back. Samford. Samford in. Tries to bat it out of the air. The Pitbulls eventually find the rebound and clear really big chance for Samford to, to definitely kill this game but the way it's going the Buffalo are all over the Pitbulls 
and have been for the majority of the uh, well, since the start of the second but here come the pitbulls into the offensive zone with Lee and Chilcott in fact Chilcott the far side he's hit but manages to make a play Newton finds him again and it's taken off his tape and the Buffalo will clear to neutralise played ahead but again Buffalo gain possession they're going to change here's Morris tipped in by Newton Chilcott looking to get to the outside but Hemmings Mayer is there and pass finds 24 that's Louis Nicholson fired in on Burton Hill stick it away Christian Nicholson now he's hit as he looked to make a play Morris trying to bat it around the boards and does so eventually Lee will clear the zone and Baker might be onto this Baker up against Banner Baker beats Banner Baker in good recovery from Banner got his stick in the way stop Banner uh, stop Baker being able to get the shot away Baker maybe just needs to take it a, a little earlier but that should be icing and finally some momentum in this third period for the Pitbulls as Baker had was looking to have one of the best chances of the period the Pitbulls need something and they need it now trailing by three on aggregate 7-4 as it stands and Pitbulls will win the draw the second attempt Just gets stuck in the uh, linesman skates and comes away for the Buffalo unfortunately for the Pitbulls drop pass fired on net goes wide Asprey in deep played around the boards Baker after it he's hit by Nicholson in fact comes loose Dewant's battling with Nicholson under pressure does well backhand pass ahead that pit pass just ahead of Lewis potentially their last shift of the game there's, there's Lewis and Winton and playing us forwards perhaps a hook there but goes in called over the line for Sanford Sanford with a slap shot well over it's going to come all the way out but Wilson will be first of the puck under no pressure Wilson leaves it for Compton Compton to Banner Banner will clear the zone Pitbulls put it back in but Banner's there here's Compton Pitbulls looking for a penalty on a, for a high stick not coming poked away by Chilcott here's Banner Banner over the line he's hit hard and Pitbulls will get the puck clear it to the line but not out Banner well he's forced back over the blue line and the big hit from Chilcott and the Pitbulls now have the puck Davis stopped up but will still get in the line Davis in spins he's at the blue line the defensemen are changing Davis spins it down low Newton pokes off his stick Chilcott has it back to Newton bubbles over his stick as he looks to shoot and Wilson has it now Wilson has it and he'll pass this near side for Samford Samford's pass ahead is deflected he goes straight to his uh, defenseman Compton Compton will go back behind his own net final five minutes Compton around the boards for Wilson Wilson well that's a bit of a hospital pass and Buckles hit hard gets the crowd going can the Pitbulls feed off of it Bryant Bryant gets it into the zone but not for long it's cleared away by Pet Langseth Langseth looks to dump it in it takes a deflection and Pitbulls have to tag up they're back into the zone now Morris tries to push it towards the net but he's blo blocked away from getting back to his pass here's Langseth he tries to put it into the corner but Jones does well to control it out of the air Morris the furthest player forward for the Pitbulls Jones wasting time behind his own net plays it ahead for Wilson behind Buckle but Robinson will be onto it Pitbulls will clear the zone and get it into the offensive zone with Lee Lee can't really control it is pushed away we've got a whistle though and the Pitbulls have a power play opportunity So 21 Adam Jones in the box interference and uh, well if the Pickles are going to get a good chance it's going to be on the power play with the, uh, the Buffalo's best defenseman in the box and it's a spoiled face off the Pickles will find the puck Asprey at the blue line Davis Davis back to Asprey. Asprey across the far side. Bounces off the boards. Big bounce and awkward bounce, and the Buffalo will clear the zone. Dewance 
Clearance tries to dump it in, it comes off a leg and comes back out to neutralise. Newton, his pass, comes off a skate and Asprey gives it away. Here come the Buffalo, good defensive play from Asprey, but again the Buffalo have got the puck back. And they'll waste time, it's Wilson. Wilson's going to skate all the way back behind his own net. And ring it around the board, Stamford's there. Doesn't connect with it, but doesn't need to. It's going to go all the way around. 40 seconds killed already by the Buffalo and the Pitbulls haven't really got a shot away. Pass to Dewins. Goes under his stick. The Pitbulls need more urgency than this. Is Bryant. For Asprey. Played ahead. The Pitbulls need to get to that puck first and keep it in the zone. And just about do so. It comes out. Davis couldn't quite control it. Morris. Passes on his backhand side and Puck's going to stay in neutral ice. And Bryant's pass there is wayward and it's going to go all the way back to Dewance, back behind his own goal line. And the Buffalo hasn't, haven't had to work too hard to kill the first 1 minute 30, 30 or 40, 1 minute 20 of this power play. Morris, backhand pass, it's this near side, played ahead. And now the Pitbulls have hardly looked again in the zone, but Baker can't control the pass and it's dumped in and only 30 seconds left on the power play. The Pitbulls haven't got any setup since winning the faceoff. Dewance. Baker tips it ahead. Lee for Baker. Baker over the line. Pass back to Newton. Newton to the, into the slot. Shot from Lee. Deflected. Comes back to the Pitbulls. Shot. Rebounds there. Well, everyone's batting away with his stick. He eventually pins it to himself. There's a big crowd in front. Bodies everywhere. I don't think he really got control of that puck until very late. It was, it was on his pads. Six seconds to go on the power play, and I think the Pitbulls might have to consider pulling the netminder on this defensive zone face off. As you see there, the puck was still loose there, and eventually, Weller Evans does cover as the, uh, the bodies come piling in, the Buffalo bodies come piling in. And Jones will be free in, in six seconds. The net remains. Burton in for the Pitbulls. 2.18 to play. It's a face off win for the Buffalo. They can't clear the zone though. Lee. Lee just rolls off his stick and the Buffalo will clear. Final two minutes. They're back to full strength. Langseth. Langseth leaves it for Morris. Morris ahead. That's a nice pass. Lee. Lee over the line, Lee shoots, deflected and Weller Evans makes a stop, Baker and Newton looking for it, Newton will get it down low, Newton, his pass is deflected, Robinson can't clear the zone, Morris plays a nice hit and a work it, tries to fire it out in front in fact, thought he was going to work it around the boards, and it's cleared away, it should be icing, it won't be, or it will be, I thought Burton was going to play it, and unless, uh, Stuart Spells thinks this game is done. It's, it's surprising to see that uh, the net remains with Aaron Burson in it. The face off's going to be neutralised and no icing. And it's a face off win for Pets. Jones to Compton, back to Jones. Jones' clearance is intercepted. It was work it out into the slot, but it's tipped away. Jones eventually will clear, and the Buffalo come away two on two. Here's Wilson. Wilson from a tight angle into the side of the net. Samford backhands it out in front for Wilson. Deflected, comes back out anyway. That shot deflected into the corner. Doesn't get to Burton. Played around the back of the net. Final 70 seconds. Wilson. He's hit by Asprey, and we're going to get a whistle. The net's off its moorings. No change. It's the, uh, very clearly here, Mr. Colton and out. Face off win for the Buffalo. They control the puck, control possession, and have it in the offensive zone. Pets out in front to Sanford, doesn't get to him. Important stick with the rebounds there. Big stop, Burton, to deny Pets. But it's given away to Wilson. Wilson can't find Sanford, and the Pitbulls will at attack with 50 seconds to go. Asprey. Asprey shoots into the leg of Compton. Five back out in front. It's going to come to the Pitbulls. Will they get a shot away? They delay too much. Fired out in front by Langseth, deflected back to him. Langseth has it again. Tries to shoot. He's hit hard. He's hit from behind the nets off its, off its moorings and we'll get a whistle 34.9 seconds to play it was Winton in fact not Langseth 17 not 71 the 
The sevens are the ones that look far too similar on these playoff jerseys of the Pitbulls. So it's 34.9 seconds, not 3 point four, not three minutes 49 if you're watching at home. It's going to be a, a timeout Buffalo, I believe. Or are we coming back with the face off coming out into neutral ice? No, it is a timeout Buffalo. I'm surprised they, uh, uh, Wilson feels the need, but maybe just uh, making sure that nothing silly happens here. So the Buffalo have nearly done it. They're the uh, National League experience they brought in during last summer has paid dividends and they look like they're heading to the Alexandra Palace next weekend. We just need to see out this final 35 seconds not conceding three goals, which I mean, they'd be hard pressed to do. They win the draw, played off the boards by Jones, kept in by Langseth. Langseth's shot deflected, pucks loose. It's going to clear the zone. The Pitbulls have to tag up shot from the blue line saved by Weller Evans surprised he didn't drop that and let the clock run 19.6 seconds to go in this final period some sarcastic cheers as a uh, lecky it's the escape problem face off win for the Pitbulls back to the blue line Langseth gets a shot away sticked into the corner by Weller Evans Pitbulls give the puck away and that will kill the game. Final 10 seconds. Here come the Buffalo. Three on two. Wilson has his, his, his it poke checked. Fired out in front. Great save by Burton behind the net. Final two seconds. Just going to be pinned to the boards. And the Buffalo have secured their place in the cool, in the semi-finals of the NHL 2 playoffs. They come from behind on the night to win 4-2 here in the pound. Full value for that win. The Pitbulls were the better team in the opening period. But the Buffalo dominated period two and did what was required of them in the third to seal a victory. An emotional Dan whatever is his final season in that. Obviously played a, a lot of hockey at, at higher levels than this and perhaps his experience showed he let in a, what we'd say was a soft one. As, certainly from his point of view in the, uh, in the first comeback, the, the second goal was completely incited and yes I don't think he was really tested as much as the Pitbulls would have wanted but he did his job per to perfection Harry Harkup the other player that stood up stood out the number seven he uh, scored the second and the third goals um, and of course that top line of the Buffalo will cause problems for any any team the, the problem the Buffalo may run into especially is obviously going to be a tough ask against the uh, against the Phoenix on Saturday in the Alexandra, in Alexandra Palace but it's going to be about the tiredness in, in the bodies those those guys played a lot of minutes tonight and obviously have the week to re recoup and, and, uh, and rest up but it's whether if they can get through Guildford and after what will be a, tough, a very tough game against a, a team that has just so much depth in it in, in the Phoenix who will go into that as favourites will go into the weekend as favourites the uh, the Buffalo will believe they've got a chance. They've got a very good netminder. They have that top line on the back end with uh, Stevens did a good job with with Jones, and obviously we know what Banner's about as well. If they can get those guys firing, and of course they're relying on reliant on Harkup being allowed to play, obviously on two-way with the bees, the 24-year-old. Um, so assuming that they uh, they have his have him available will stay for man of the matches going to say it'll be high cup for the bees for the pitbulls it's a tough one they had a good opening period but it was they were just so sloppy in the second i, I think i think if it wasn't for the fact they've lost it would be burton but i know i know there's always an apprehension to give man of the match to a, a losing netminder Hayden Lee impressed again. He's a good skater, good puck carrier. The Pitbulls 
just missing I said about it, missing James Wood Ollie Sean and uh, Noah Betts three guys that are a point per game or better this season Wood and Sean are the uh, two of the top three point scorers for the Pitbulls this year you're always going to miss players of that that caliber in a big game against a, a team that I think the two teams are well matched the Pitbulls perhaps have don't have the the headline talent but they they would outmatch them depth wise and with Buffalo use that top line well tonight and two goals from the top line one on the power play one from Harkup was enough to see them through to the finals Buffalo does go to number 19 Paul Petz who again I mean I've said about that top line they, they all look good I mean Wilson I think of, of that line Wilson stood out Sanford had a, had a, a big shot but quite often perhaps uh, not quite the direction needed could be dangerous if he uh, finds his t finds the target a couple of times it'd be tough to uh, tough to stop but Petz the industrious player on that line you feel and I mean it seems harsh to say that for about player who's got 56 points in 21 games but not before the, the playoffs started. We just do the photos. Richie, jack of all trades, doing it. And the Buffalo, they did have some travelling fans in over the on the far side. They'll go home happy. And they full value for that that trip that they're going to get to Harrogate next weekend. And it's good for the city of Basingstoke or the town of Basingstoke to. Uh, to get that that accomplishment to get to uh, to get to the finals and of course we hope that at some point soon the Bison are back and we've got another game down the M4 for the for the first team we hope that that happens sooner rather than later and yeah of course the other competitions will go ahead for the Pitbulls while we wait for the, uh, the man of the match Nathan Chilcott picks up man of the match for the Pitbulls. He scored the, uh, the Pitbulls' second goal of the evening, and it was a, a really good finish. A, a, a snapshot from uh, just outside the hash marks. Beat Weller Evans, didn't see it. And I mean, it's, he's, a, he's a good player. I'm, surp I'm surprised when doing notes of this that he was uh, one of the Pitbulls forwards with less than a point a game. So, a disappointing season, you'd perhaps say, for the Pitbulls twos in the end this year. They were league champions last year, made it to Harringay made it to the dance but couldn't get past and Victor that weekend this time they fall at the first stage of the playoffs they'll be back next year and that junior system is, uh, is working I think Richie's just announced that Nathan Chilcott's played his last game of, of hockey I'm not 100% sure or will confirm that on social media I'm sure but for now we will leave you on the fact that the, Buff uh, the Basingstoke Buffalo have taken the win tonight, the win on aggregate, they will head to the Alexandra Palace next weekend to take on the Guildford Phoenix. We wish them all the best and have a great weekend in Alexandra Palace. I've been Lewis Hatton. Good night. <laughs>